One of the really nice things about IDPA is that to get started, the gear you need is fairly minimal. From an equipment perspective, you pretty much just need the basics. What's shown here is the standard gear needed for three of the most popular divisions in IDPA, which are Stock Service Pistol, SSP, Enhanced Service Pistol, ESP, and Carry Optics, CO. For any of those divisions, you only need a pistol, three magazines, a holster, and two magazine pouches. And that's it. For some of the other divisions, you might need an extra magazine and pouch or moon clip holders if you're in a revolver division, but overall, you just don't need much. The main requirements for the holster are fairly simple. It can be an inside the waistband or outside the waistband holster, but must be a strong side holster that covers the trigger guard. The IDPA rule specifically says must prevent activation of the trigger while holstered. The front edge of the holster must cover within 1.75 inches of the breech face. The holster must hold the firearm vertically or with a rearward cant. And lastly, if it's an outside the waistband holster, the entire front strap up to the trigger guard must be at or above the top of the belt. Make sure to take a look at the rule book for other details. For IDPA, you can't use cross draw holsters, shoulder holsters, appendix carry, or small of the back holsters. And no pocket carry either, though you really wouldn't want to in the first place. For magazine pouches, the pouch must cover two inches of the magazine and the magazines must be carried vertically. No bullets out pouches either. IDPA doesn't allow gear that is specifically competition oriented, so no holsters or mag pouches with adjustment knobs that you can change periodically through a match, as opposed to adjustment screws that you set and lock tight in place. Once you put your gear on for a match, it has to stay in the same place for the entire match. The holster must be carried so that the center of the trigger pad is no further forward than the center line of the body, where the center line is defined as a line dropping straight down from the center of your armpit. Magazine pouches, carried on the other side obviously, must have their front edge behind the shooter's hip bone, so they can be a little forward compared to the holster. Extra magazines can also be carried in pockets. Most stages in IDPA require you to have your gear concealed. As such, most people in IDPA wear some sort of vest for concealment, though you can use whatever concealment garment you like. The requirements for concealment are fairly straightforward. While wearing all of your gear under your concealment garment, if you can stand upright with your arms spread to the sides and none of your gear can be seen from any angle, then you're good to go. All gear must be hidden by the concealment garment. Obviously, you should also have good eye and ear protection, and having a cap with a brim to keep brass from hitting you in the head or getting under your eye pro is kind of handy. But that's it. There are plenty of decent holsters out there that work, along with a number of magazine pouches. The examples shown all have a tech lock on them so they can be put on or taken off the belt without undoing the belt, but that isn't necessary. Go ahead and get some gear and come out and shoot IDPA.